Thank you for tuning in to the latest 28storms.com update on Tropical Storm Isaac on this Sunday afternoon, August 26th. As of the latest 2 p.m. intermediate advisory from the Hurricane Center, maximum sustained winds are still only 60 miles per hour, but we are forecasting the bulk of intensification to occur in the southeast and central Gulf of Mexico. In fact, we are still fairly confident that Isaac has a greater than 50% chance of becoming a major Category 3 hurricane before making a secondary landfall. However, the official intensity forecast from the National Hurricane Center is still forecasting a high-end Category 2 with maximum sustained winds of 105 miles per hour. You can see that the forward motion is also expected to slow down once Isaac is out across the central and northern Gulf and the landfall is now forecast to be 8 a.m. Wednesday, whereas in prior tracks it was closer toward Tuesday evening. Also, the hurricane watches have been expanded toward the southwest of New Orleans, and they still range as far east as Panama City and Apalachicola. Despite the lack of intensification, the storm is becoming better defined on the latest Key West radar animation. You can see the center of circulation passing just to the south of Key West at this hour, but we are still seeing very heavy bands spiraling toward the north into the Keys and the rest of South Florida, and we are still seeing wind gusts in excess of 40 to 60 miles per hour. Isaac is also steadily becoming much better defined on the latest visible satellite imagery. You can see the center just to the south of Key West, Florida, and convection is beginning to increase near the inner core in all quadrants. You can see this even better on the enhanced infrared animation. Over the past three to six hours, you can see that the thunderstorm activity surrounding the center is becoming more numerous with time, and this is another indicator that Isaac will be ready for significant rounds of intensification once it moves into the southeast Gulf of Mexico. This is a look at the 12Z spaghetti model spread, and as we started talking about yesterday, the trend has been toward the west in the models recently, and New Orleans is certainly well within the mix of things, and everyone down there should be prepping for Isaac in the event that New Orleans is directly impacted by this storm, and even interest out across the central and southeast portions of the Louisiana coastline should also start to monitor Isaac fairly closely, as that trend may still continue. We will just have to wait and see. But other models not shown here are still implying a track more toward the east. The latest European run is showing a track more so toward Mobile and Pensacola. And the Canadian model is taking a blend between both of these two scenarios with a track into Gulfport and Biloxi, Mississippi. The operational GFS along with its GFS ensemble members are showing more and more of a westerly track with each update. As we move into the next 24 hours, you can see Tropical Storm Isaac emerging into the southeast Gulf of Mexico, and quickly thereafter, you're going to see the storm rapidly intensify. Also, if we focus more so across the United States in terms of the overall steering pattern, the GFS is trending stronger and more toward the east with the movement of this ridge, and as the ridge becomes centered over Kansas and Missouri, the mid-level flow immediately to the south of that feature would imply more of a west-northwest track into southeast or south central Louisiana. So this would place New Orleans and all of its suburbs and communities immediately to the south and southwest under the gun for a potential major hurricane landfall. Also, to make matters worse, although the ridge is capturing the storm in this run, it's not doing so by a whole lot. Therefore, the steering currents are forecast to break down shortly as the storm is crossing the coastline and Isaac is forecast to meander around southern Louisiana for a period of several days which would imply a major threat of inland flooding in addition to the dangerous storm surge that would be occurring all along the Gulf Coast. To the contrary, the European is still suggesting that the trough out across the northeast United States will have just enough of an impact to induce more of a northerly motion as Tropical Storm Isaac and soon-to-be Hurricane Isaac starts to near Mississippi and Alabama. By 24 and 48 hours, it is becoming apparent that the European is showing significant intensification under favorable conditions, and we still see the break in the ridge immediately to the north with the main core of troughing out across the Mid-Atlantic, Northeast, and New England states. And between 48 and 72 hours, as we go on into Wednesday morning, the European is showing more of a turn toward the north, toward Mobile, Orange Beach, Dauphin Island, and Pensacola, as a pretty significant hurricane, but one thing that the GFS and European do have in common is that shortly after landfall, the steering currents are not going to be overly strong as the trough and the ridge will continue to battle for dominance, and that could allow for the storm to be rather slow moving as it comes inland, 
which, as we just said, would increase the magnitude of inland flooding. However, it is still somewhat of a question mark as to which scenario is more likely, the one toward the east or the western scenario that is being implied over the Louisiana coastline by the GFS model. We should also mention that some of the lesser accurate models are in the middle of the GFS and European solutions. For example, this is the 12Z run of the Canadian CMC, and it has more so of a compromising solution with significant intensification in the Gulf, but a track more so toward Mississippi and Alabama. So until we start to see a better model consensus, I think the Hurricane Center is going to continue to take a middle ground approach and the 4 p.m. track will likely be very similar to the 10 a.m. package with a forecast somewhere with a landfall out across Mississippi or lower Alabama and the next major model update will begin at 10.30 p.m. and we will be having a live broadcast at 28storms.com showing everyone the latest model data as it becomes available and we also have a chat feature enabled on the front page that way you can ask us questions live within the chat or if you can't access the chat for whatever reason you can also ask us questions on our Facebook fan page. But just to summarize, unfortunately the model agreement is no better than what it was yesterday and we still have quite a spread here so all interest from central Louisiana eastward through the western half of the Florida Panhandle should be preparing now for the potential landfall of Hurricane Isaac.